Chapter 10 Everyday Magic Jack opened his eyes. The sun was setting beyond the woods. No time at all had passed in Frog Creek. Welcome back, said a soft, lovely voice. Morgan Le Fay was in the magic tree house. Morgan! cried Annie. She threw her arms around the enchantress. Jack hugged Morgan, too. Look, Morgan, said Annie. We have proof we found four special kinds of magic. Yes, I see, said Morgan. Morgan picked up the place girls that Shakespeare had given Jack and Annie in Old England. You found the magic of theater, she said. Morgan picked up the twig from a mountain gorilla in the African cloud forest. And the magic of animals, she said. Morgan picked up the pouch of corn seeds from their trip to the first Thanksgiving. And the magic of community, she said. Finally, Morgan picked up the wreath of flowers from Kama and Boca. And you discovered the magic of friendship, she said. Morgan looked at Jack and Annie for a long moment. Listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you, she said. Yes, they both leaned forward. <clears throat> you are now magicians of everyday magic, said Morgan. You have learned to find the magic in things you encounter on earth every day. There are many forms of magic, everyday magic. You never have to look far to find it. You only have to live your life to the fullest. Jack and Annie nodded. Soon you will be called upon to use your knowledge of everyday magic in the realm of fantasy. The realm of fantasy, said Jack. Are we going to Camelot, said Annie. Before Morgan could answer, a shout came from the distance. Jack! Annie! Our dad's calling, said Annie. You must go home now, said Morgan gently. Rest, and get ready to test your powers. Your most exciting challenges are yet to come. Goodbye, Morgan, said Annie and Jack. They hugged the Enchantress. Then Jack took the Hawaii book out of his pack and gave it to Morgan. He put it on his backpack, or he put on his backpack and followed Annie down the ladder. When they stepped onto the ground, there was a great roar above them. Jack and Annie looked up. A swirl of sparkling light lit the top of the tree. Then the light was gone. The treehouse was gone. Morgan Le Fay was gone, too. Jack and Annie didn't speak for a long moment. Then Jack broke the silence. Our most exciting challenges are yet to come, he said. What do you think Morgan meant by that? I don't know, said Annie. It sounds a little scary, said Jack. That's okay. We can handle it, said Annie. She smiled. We're ma magicians of everyday magic. Jack smiled. Yeah, he said. I guess we are. They walked out of the woods as the sun was setting. Down the street, their mom and dad were standing on their front porch. They waved at Jack and Annie. Jack felt a surge of happiness. There's another kind of everyday magic, he thought. The magic of family. In that moment, it seemed the best magic of all.